Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of January 2nd. We're going to jump right in here, Cancer, and we are going to see uh, what is going on in your general energies this week. You have this mouse card that says tend to the small things. Look at this reading. This is really good already, um, except for the tower. But <laughs> uh, you have the nine of pentacles in Pisces had the nine of pentacles in exactly the same position. The nine of pentacles has a lot to do with like your environment and the things that are happening in your environment or the things that are, you know, kind of like happening around you uh, as well. And so I feel like for some of you, there could be some sort of change in your environment. The tower can just be a move, Cancer, so it doesn't even have to be something bad, right? It could just be you moving or traveling or doing something different with your life um, for sure. Uh, for others, it could be just a surprise. Look, this to me looks like new love as well. And it could be a Scorpio because you have two cards of Scorpio here. Scorpio shows up right here on the Wheel of Fortune and the tower can represent Scorpio in general. So... Uh, you know, that could be what's going on here, but uh, let's see. Yeah, there's clearly some sort of big change coming in for you here. Um, you have this poverty card, but this row uh, at the end here is for the good stuff that could be coming in for you. So obviously it doesn't matter what shows up here. It's going to be positive no matter what. So you could be coming out of poverty. You could be making more money, but I do feel like there could be some like a significant change happening uh, for you at this time. I feel I do feel with this tower that there are things you should not ignore. You know, the tower is the whole point of the tower is that these people have been ignoring reality and they've been, you know, ignoring, they've been building these walls up around them too high. So they've been ignoring kind of like what's right in front of their face. And that's why the tower is falling. The tower falls and it's very necessary for us to have tower moments in life so that we can be brought back down to reality <laughs> so that we can see things for how they actually are so that we can see the truth. But, you know, yes, sometimes the truth hurts, but I would rather be, I don't know, I don't know about you. I'd rather know the truth than, uh, you know, live some sort of lie, right? So, yeah, it, and, and for some of you, I'm wondering if this happened in the past, like someone told you the truth that hurt, could have been in love, and maybe you've been healing from it since. So some of you, this has already happened, but I do feel like there are some small things that you shouldn't ignore. Again, some, these might be some uncomfortable truths, like maybe you're having to save more money, or uh, maybe you your job isn't paying you enough, and now you have to go get another one. Um, but at the same time, Look, you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles in this row. So it's like if you do these things, you're going to have a very positive new beginning. It is kind of interesting that I'm getting new beginning vibes on this Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, sometimes nines to me in the tarot, they just represent something new basically entering into your life. And I do feel some of you, this could be a like new job, new opportunity, um, new success, just good new things coming in for you. The Ace of Pentacles is like a big opportunity as well. It's like something, you know, kind of like big and successful coming in for you, which I think we see at the end here as well. So if you're looking for a new job or uh, something new, then <laughs> then here it is, uh, Cancer. And I do feel like it could be a little bit uh, surprising. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have this loss card. Some of you have definitely experienced a loss and now you're single. Nine of Pentacles, of course, is the card of independence. You know, I know a lot of readers read her as being single, but um, again, it's not true. She's independent. That does not mean she is single. She just truly understands the balance of energy, giving and taking and, you know, all that other stuff. So, but I do feel some of you have experienced a loss in the recent past. Uh, with the uh, Ace of Pentacles, you have this fortune card. So clearly there's like a new opportunity. It's almost like there's a, a spark of hope or a glimmer of hope or something is coming in this week that gives you hope, that pulls you out of this um, period of loss. It's almost like the sun is reappearing in your life here, Cancer. I really like where this is going. Again, I do feel like you have to pay attention to the small details and things like that still, but this to me looks like an improvement or a turnaround. With the tower, you have the resourcefulness card. Again, I was kind of feeling this here. And, you know, this is the sun in Cancer, by the way, this card. So this is like your card in this deck. And I kind of feel that it would be a good time for you to like tap into your resources. Again, maybe, like I was saying, I, I kind of got that feeling on that tower that it was almost like something I don't want to do <laughs> is the best way I could describe it. So it's like maybe you're having to save extra money or, you know, maybe you're worried about the recession or, you know, whatever else could be going on. So, you know, I, I kind of feel that energy here. I'm not going to like sugarcoat or anything, but at the same time, I don't know, it looks good to me. Uh, next, we're going to look at the next big change that's coming in for you. And look, you have this soulmates card. 
obviously, literally could be a soulmate that is entering into your life. And you also have the lovers in this row. I kind of feel like this is something that you've been hoping and praying for. If you don't want love or if you already have love, I feel that this could be like a blessing that's entering into your life, but it's a blessing for like a new option, right? No matter which way I take it, if we go uh, up this way, we go to the page of pentacles, which again, in love could be a new person, but outside of love, it could just be a new opportunity. Going this way, the Hierophant is making a symbol with his hands right here that represents a blessing. <laughs> so I kind of feel that some of you, even if even if you do want love actually, that this could just be a blessing. It could be a financial blessing as well with the King of Pentacles showing up here. Uh, I kind of get more of the feeling though that this is a job or job change or a raise or a promotion. King of Pentacles is usually something that brings a lot of stability into, into our lives. You know, it's usually something that makes us feel more secure, more stable. It usually isn't necessarily very exciting. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> it could just be like a job thing that leads to, more, that's like a promotion, but maybe it's more responsibility and stuff like that. But actually for you, you go up to the Wheel of Fortune to the Justice card, which um, this right here, that I love. Uh, that to me says that whatever this change is, Wheel of Fortune, it's going to be worth it. Justice is like cause and effect, meaning if you put energy into something, like what you get out is more worth what than what you put in. So love it. Uh, this could also be love as well. It could be an earth sign coming in for you. And I would say same thing. It's like you put energy into the person, they give you energy back. So um, clearly it's a very balanced situation. Again, we also, there's like a million clues here. I just want to point out going uh, going this way to the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is always a change in direction. It is showing up in the good stuff, so it's gonna be a positive change, but you have the change card right there. There is clearly a change coming in for you. Uh, and we see it here. It's gonna be an option. It's like an option. That's what I, that's just the word I hear in my head with the lovers. The lovers traditionally was the crossroads, kind of represented a choice that you could take. It is divinely guided. You know, this is your higher self angel right here. So I do feel if there are options or if there is a new option entering into your life, it's kind of like divinely guided. It's something where um, the universe is bringing it to you or, you know, um, maybe you pray. I kind of get the feeling that you either have been praying for a positive change or you've just been, even if you don't pray, maybe you've just been putting out the vibes, right? Like asking the universe, when am I going to find love or when am I going to get get this new job? And I kind of feel the biggest change coming in for you, number one, could be a soulmate. Number two, uh, is an opportunity for you to change your finances or to greatly improve your finances. For a lot of you, again, you have that poverty card, but it's in the area of the good stuff. So it looks to me like you are leaving behind a lack mentality or maybe you're not in poverty, but maybe you know things could always be better, right? And I feel like things are getting better. Uh, there's a person right here in this stained glass window who is receiving blessings on the four of swords and he is praying. So I feel like you've been hoping and praying for blessings and it looks to me again like you are receiving uh, blessings or whatever whatever it is that you've been hoping and praying for here, Cancer. So uh, I really I love this reading for you, Cancer. But let's see what we get uh, with the Four of Swords. You have this publicity card. It uh, could be a lot of positive attention coming in for you as well, and a lot of luck. You have that fortune card, the publicity card. I've been saying all year, this year, I've been preparing people for Pluto entering into Aquarius. I would try to get as much attention as you possibly can. Aquarius is the star card. <laughs> she is pointing to this star right here. So uh, anything you want to be successful in your life, I would try to get it attention. Uh, it could also just be your attention, meaning like if you have something like a business or a relationship or whatever you wanna see, be successful giving it attention could be the thing like your positive attention, uh, paying attention only to the positive things. You know, I think all of that would be a really good idea. With the lovers, you have this idealism card, could be an Aquarius coming in for you. Um, a lot of people have been getting this card as well. And again, we have Pluto going into Aquarius uh, this year. It's only gonna be for a short period of time before it retrogrades back into Capricorn. And then in 2024, it officially moves into Aquarius, but uh, I don't care. Uh, it's going to be there for 20 years. <laughs> it's touching Aquarius this year. We're, you know, we're basically in the energy. So, um, I, you know, I would try to get attention on things that matter to you. I would also, I wouldn't idealize situations in general. I think we shouldn't be looking for perfect situations. I think we should be looking for 
mm, situations that can grow. And, you know, nothing is perfect. So that's what I'll say there. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have this versatility card. Yes, that makes perfect sense. King of Pentacles is a card of convention, basically the card of the way things have always been done. So I, and again, I think that's a trap that we can all very easily follow, like fall into this year. This goes for everybody, Cancer. I think we can fall into the trap of leaning on like convention, the way things have always been done, like thinking that things are going to work the way they used to, right? And I'm not saying they aren't going to work that way, but I think we need to be more flexible this year and, and for uh, probably for the next 20 years at least or longer forever. <laughs> like I truly believe that people who are flexible, who enter into situations and say, how can I make this work? Not this needs to work this way, right? There's a big difference there. Um, so I think if we can enter into any situation, love, business or otherwise, I mean, if we can say, how can I get this to work? And then when we're in the situation, how can I continue to make this work? right? It doesn't matter how, but how can you do it, right? Uh, I think as long as we can do that, we will be very, very successful. If we're saying this needs to work this way, it's not going to work. Uh, that goes for everything. Uh, next, we're going to be looking at what you don't see coming. You have the spirituality card. It says use money, magic, spells, or in to increase wealth and prosperity. Could be using like a manifestation, things like that here. It also says you're being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path right now. I think that's very true. This next card says, you're stepping into your highest divine life path. That is crazy to me. I randomize these cards. I you know shuffle them before every single reading. And uh, it's crazy to me that they both basically say the same thing, two different decks. So I feel like you're stepping, what you don't see coming is that you're like stepping into your true path, which we kind of also see with the uh, Wheel of Fortune as well. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of your uh, destiny. It is like, but it's your destiny in the sense that is your personal vision for your life. It is like where you see your life going, or maybe there are certain things that you desire to have in your life. We need to take control of the wheel. And there are two ways that we can take control of the wheel. One is we can use our vibrations. There's a snake over here and it kind of is like a squiggly line. So it represents our vibrations. Uh, we can also be at the center of the wheel. You want to be at the center of the wheel because it's like things are always changing around you when you're at the center of the wheel, but it's like you're you're able to see things coming, good and bad. And so that makes you prepared. That makes you able to take care of the things that you need to take care of. And it helps you avoid the things that you need to avoid. And it helps you double down on successes. I always tell people, it's like, you know, one thing I've been doing for the past like 10 years of my life is doubling down on success. <laughs> like when I find something that works or if I'm in the middle of doing something that's working really, really well in one of my businesses or whatever, I like double down on it or t I really more than double down. So, you know, I feel that sometimes we don't do that. We just have a success and we just are like, oh, I'm successful. <laughs> like I'm gonna go celebrate. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't celebrate. I'm, I'm actually a big fan of celebrating successes as well. That's how we magnify them even more. Uh, through law of attraction, being gratitude, you know, gratitude, being grateful. But at the same time, it's like the wheel of fortune is a card of momentum. So if you have a bunch of momentum moving in a direction, keep the momentum moving in that direction. Too many, too many times I've worked with too many people where it's like they start finding success and they're like, oh no, you know, when is, uh, you know, they start like having all these crazy thoughts. Like what if my cousin gets arrested? Then I'm gonna have to bail him out. That's gonna take me away from my business. Or what if this happens? What if that happens, right? They start worrying about like paying taxes and stuff like that. I'm like, yes, pay your taxes, but guess what? If you have a successful business, you can hire someone to do it for you. <laughs> you don't have to worry about these things. And I kind of feel that energy here, Cancer, where it's like things could start going really, really well for you this year, but don't start like worrying about things that happened 10 years ago, right? Don't start worrying about what could happen. You're putting yourself in a position where you'll probably be able to figure it out. That's what the Page of Pentacles says. So it's like if you're worried that something is gonna happen, Page of Pentacles, Card of studi Studiousness. It says, if you don't know what you're doing, figure it out, learn. Guess what I learned in life? Nobody has any idea what they're doing. I have never had any idea what I'm doing <laughs> in any area of my life, right? So I, I never know, I never know. Every time I enter into something new, uh, a new business, uh, a new idea, I have no clue, right? But I learn as I go. I, 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 my life lesson, I think one of my big ones is I had to learn that most people are just learning as you go. Elon Musk, it's like, you think he knew what he was doing? He might actually be an alien, so that's a different story, but I don't know, like any of these other guys, you think they know what they were doing? Hell no. So I think that's a secret, you can learn as you go. 
I also think that what you don't see coming is that there could be new love, like a true love soulmate coming in for you. Could lead to marriage with the Hierophant. Uh, I think a little bit bigger picture here with your the Hierophant in your reading. I kind of feel this is talking about like something that's being divinely guided into your life. Clearly, this is a very spiritual row based off the cards that have shown up here. The Hierophant is the bridge between heaven and earth or you know the universe and the earth, whatever you want to call it. And so he kind of uh, brings things into our lives or into existence. And I kind of feel like something is being, you know, guided into your life here, Cancer, something that could lead to like a lot of success. Let's see. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, you have the Seduction card. <laughs> Definitely love being brought into your life. This is Jupiter and Pisces. We just had Jupiter and Pisces. Jupiter's in Aries now. Um, I actually, kind of, it's kind of funny because this, this card's come up quite a bit. And I kind of feel that it's saying, you know, that Jupiter has changed. And I think it's saying now, because of the change, something can enter into your life, if that makes sense. So, you know, I, I kind of feel there could be like a very seductive connection coming in for you. It is kind of interesting because I do feel if love is coming in. Yes, I know this is for this week, but I'm getting like the end of February or early March or something like that. I don't know, take it how it resonates. But if you're meeting a person, if you are looking for love, I feel like that could be the time frame that you meet someone. I'm getting the 12th as well. I don't know, whatever. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have this Domination card. Uh, I feel like you're rising up to the top of the wheel. And again, normally, it's like some most people live their lives on the outside of the wheel. They're just like at the mercy of their destiny, right? They're not in control of their destiny. I kind of feel like you're rising to the top. I feel like you need to lock yourself into that top position intuitively. That's what I'm getting here. With the Hierophant, you have the Intuition card. So uh, definitely a good time to trust your intuition, to listen to your inner voice as well. Uh, finally, for the good stuff, you have this poverty card and this change card. Uh, that looks like a change in your financial situation to me. So I feel like some of you could be coming out of poverty. For others, I feel like you could be taking advantage of um, changes that are happening in the world. And so again, there's a lot of talk of recession. Uh, recessions have made a lot of people wealthy, have made a lot of people successful. And trust me, every time I say that, people always tell me how wrong it is. Um, I'm, I'm like, okay, well, you still haven't figured it out yet, number one. Number two, it's like, I'm not here to debate whether it's right or wrong. I'm just here to say, there's an opportunity. You can take advantage of it or not, right? Um, so it's like, I'm sure there were people back in 2008 that were saying, oh, it's wrong to take advantage of a situation like a, a depression or whatever. But I don't know, those people are probably still in the same position. So <laughs> it's like your choice. Do you want to change your life or not? I don't care. Uh, you have the justice card, the wheel of, or sorry, the world in the seven of pentacles. I do feel that there is like a change coming in for you here in with the seven of pentacles. We talked about this, this whole entire reading. There clearly could be a work change, business change. Seven of Pentacles is a change in direction. Seven of Pentacles also says, is the juice worth the squeeze? He's like looking at those seven pentacles saying, was it worth it for me to grow these seven pentacles? Uh, guess what? You also have the justice card, which also says cause and effect. Like, is it worth it for me to put energy into something? Is it worth it for me to work on this relationship? Do I get energy back from it? Is it worth it for me to work in this business? Do I get something back from it? If the answer is no, change. If the answer is yes, keep going. Uh, I've been saying forever that I think the answer to like the next decade at least is the justice card, cause and effect. I think we really need to pay attention to what's working and what's not working. Most people say like, oh, everybody pays attention. No, they don't. <laughs> it's like as someone, like I've been a business con marketing consultant for a very long time in my life. I'm like, I pretty much don't do it anymore, but sometimes I do. But um, what I would say is that, it, you know, I see it all the time. Businesses that don't do, they, they have no clue what is working, right? In their business. So they're just like throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks, but they're not paying attention to what sticks. So I feel like, you know, we all do this in our life. We don't pay attention to what works. And I feel like that is saying it is time to pay attention to what works. I also feel that there's clearly financial balance. This is better than balance. I feel like there's like money coming in. You also have the world here. And so I feel there is like an ending of a cycle and you're about to have a new beginning. That could definitely be, uh, clearly that could be a good thing for you here, Cancer. So love it. Uh, let's see what we have going on for you. Uh, with the justice card, you have this affair card. Uh, this is not like an affair like cheating. This is like, an affair as in love. So I do feel that there is like true love coming in for you. Clearly, there's a lot of good love stuff here. If you don't already have it, if you already have a positive relationship, then, you know, again, I would say this is pretty good. 
Uh, with the world, you have this concentration card. Mm, yeah, I mean, like, what you pay attention to is what you're going to get. I really feel we're entering into this time where I think we're going to be manifesting things very, very quickly. So I would make sure to pay, that you are paying attention to exactly what you want in your life. Don't pay attention to things that you don't want in your life. And I promise you, it is going to be very easy for the next several years to pay attention to what you don't want because they're going to be telling you about it on the news. They're going to tell you about all the things you don't want, trying to get your attention on it. So don't pay attention to it, right? With the Seven of Pentacles, you have this authority card. Some of you, I do feel, could be becoming an authority figure in like work or business. And if you are doing that, I think that, I, and I don't think I know, I see a lot of success here uh, in you doing that. So I would definitely do it. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes now. Uh, you have this bull card. It says, do not back down from opposition. Sh show strength and fortitude. And I feel like saying your actions are speaking louder than words. It's almost like, you know, if people are coming at you or if, if you have haters or whatever, just keep doing you. I would ignore the haters because I really feel your actions speak louder than words. You have this mountain card. It says, major, major change to overcome. Uh, but I don't really feel like, I don't think it's like a mountain. You know, I feel like you've already been climbing the mountain. I feel like you've already been going through the change. So you're just like getting to the top of your mountain. Uh, you have this wealth card. So clearly we saw this throughout the reading that there could be a change in your wealth or the way that you make money. Uh, love it. Looks really good. Um, I do feel like there's something that needs to change. Again, you have that mouse spirit, right? You have this wealth card. It's almost like I think you need to like look at um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of mimicking success. Let's put it that way. I think that there are certain things, certain beliefs that, you know, people, maybe you want a certain level of wealth. Like, what do those people believe? Can you change your beliefs? Can you change your environment? What can you do um, to, you know, match that energy? I, I really feel you need to do that. You have this Fox card. It says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. I feel like you're on point in work and business. Clearly, there's a lot of success coming in for you. You also have this hand card. It says, in need of help, assistance, or guidance. Yeah, don't be afraid to ask for help at this time, Cancer. I feel like there are a lot of people who want to help you. I feel like there's a lot of help and assistance just in general for you. So definitely something I would pay attention to here, Cancer. But uh, this looks pretty good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.